happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us with the XH Data D808, and today I'm going to perform a daytime medium wave band scan. This is a really cool shortwave radio. We'll go over features, we'll do a little size comparison, and we'll start cruising the daytime band. So let's check out the radio itself. It's very lightweight, and it features lots of bands. Left-hand side, we have a carry strap. We have an external antenna input jack, volume control, FM stereo headphone port. Sounds really good, by the way. On the front here, we have a speaker grill metal with the speaker behind there. It sounds really good, tonal quality. XH data with a metal tag like that. LCD display will display a clock. Uh, we also have over here, similar to Texans, signal strength indicator, alarm time. You can cycle it with the display button, which is really nice uh, when the radio is on. It'll show your frequency and, of course, battery life indicator. Power switch, sleep function. Going over all the buttons, uh, here's FM but band select, FM set. You can see the little orange writing. Uh, that's when the power is off. You can set the bands. Here we have long wave, medium wave. You can turn long wave on and off. Uh, short wave, and then you can select the meter bands quickly by using this button. Uh, air band, of course. Light. Light's nice because it just leaves the lights on all the time until the battery runs dead. Uh, I will use it. It's a nice little setup. Time set, and then we have AM bandwidth, an FM stereo button. This AM bandwidth button you're going to use a lot. Uh, really cool. I'll show you how many options you have. Alarm, display, single sideband mode for shortwave. Yes, you can listen to ham radio operators. Awesome. Upper lower sideband, that's how you toggle it. Uh, info button with the lock key. Up and down search uh, buttons, and of course, uh, seek. And then, of course, we have our direct entry keypad. So you can direct enter frequencies, hitting the frequency button, done the frequency. There you go, pretty simple. You'll notice you can turn the beep on and off. This thing has an annoying beep. Just press 5. Uh, you can change the AM stepping from 9 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz with the zero button when the power is off. And over here is a page function. This has 50 pages. On each page, you have 10 presets. It's pretty nice. So you could have AM, FM, shortwave, airband, all on the same page if you want. And then you have 50 pages of 10. So that's how you get your 500 presets. Right hand side, we have a cool tuning knob. Uh, it's notched. If you notice, it says step tuning and squelch. When you push this in, it'll toggle between fast, slow, and stop in the tuning mode. And of course, when you're airband, it'll adjust your squelch, which is nice. Here we have a fine tune, which is really nice when you're on a single sideband and also when you're on the AM band, which I'll show you. You can go fast tuning here and then one kilohertz tuning here, uh, which is really handy. Here we have the DC input, uh, micro USB to charge the rechargeable battery. We'll show you that. On top here we have our external antenna, of course, FM for shortwave and airband. And swivel 360 degrees. Nice setup. And on the back of the radio is a kickout stand. And there's our frequency information. There's the expanded FM band, 64 to 108. People will like that. Here's 9 kilohertz band and 10 kilohertz band on AM. There's the air frequency. You get all the airband coverage. Long wave, and of course, short wave there. Full coverage on short wave. And it runs an 18650. A lot of people uh, get a little upset, but this is actually a really good battery. The one that comes with it, I'm still using, which is great. Um, it's a little low capacity, 2000 milliamp hour. You could put in a, this takes a protected cell button top, and you could put in a, a, a 3550 cell that would Panasonic G if you want to get the best uh, capacity. But uh, this works fine for now, and uh, if I need a bigger battery, I can always swap one in. It makes it easy. So put this back out with the camera going. It's a tight fit. <laughs> That's why I usually don't like to do this on camera. There we go. And you get a reset hole in the bottom there in case the radio locks up. Now, I never had the radio lock up over the uh, year and a half I've owned it. Or two years now, I think. Uh, and it's been a year since I made this video uh, on a band scan, so I figured I'd do some comparisons. So let's go ahead and bring this up a little bit. And we're going to show you the Digitech. I don't know if I've ever showed these together. This is the AR1780. It's identical in feature list to this radio. 
expected it to boat a little differently. This came out before the XH data, just so you know. Nice raised buttons. Uh, I really like that on the Digitech. I don't know if I could see it, show that to you. Uh, that's a big plus. It's got a solid plastic speaker grill, so that won't dent. That's a nice thing, too. It's got a normal LCD light. Uh, let's see, does that have a light button? Yeah. So it's got an amber light to it. It's kind of nice. Um, it has a similar hookups, as you can see, on that comparatively. Uh, but the biggest thing, too, is this runs on four AA batteries versus an 18650. So if you're in the market for one of these radios, there's your options. Another one is the tuning knobs. Uh, the Digitex is a little narrower, a little harder to get onto than this one. So if you look at that, you can see there's a difference. And of course, radio size. 808's a little bit bigger, but it's a lighter radio because the four AA batteries weigh a little bit more than the 18650. So there's that. Let's go ahead and bring in other radios. We have CC Pocket in the house. Bring this down. There you go for size. Size will compare <laughs> I don't know if that's not even a word. <laughs> uh, try to get this done as quickly as we can so we get on the band. CC Skywave in the house, yes. You can see that's a real compact radio. That's what makes it a selling point. Uh, to be honest with you, these are about the same price, and this includes single side band and um, also your uh, a bigger radio to better sound, of course. And then we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves XH Datas from China Land with single side band. <laughs> He's Iron Man. Okay, so let's start doing the band here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom on down. We'll turn a light on, have a light run all the time. Why not? Because uh, it turns on when you tune. So hit the button here. Now when you turn the radio on, oops, turn that down. Um, you can press and hold and get into sleep mode, which is nice. So we're at 520. I have a loop handy. We'll use it maybe to get some faint stations. This is a great radio, by the way, on AM and FM. Love it. So let's go ahead and we're going to do fast tuning. I should say fast right there. It does. Now you can slow tune up with that fine tuning wheel right here. This goes one kilohertz stepping. Very nice setup. So let's go to 540. Bring this up a little bit. They throw it. You can count on the fingers of one hand the quarterbacks whose teams have had the confidence in them to let them do that in my lifetime. Over the course of time, they don't do that. Quarterbacks don't get to win games that way. But who do you feel better about than Patrick Mahomes? It's always good to listen to sports, right, guys? 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. Had to get my list ready, too. I <laughs> didn't have it out. But I have this little daytime list of changes, so I have to make sure I keep it handy. Um, so this is a faint station out of Milwaukee, or near Milwaukee. Don't let anybody tell you different. That's the easy part. Oh, carolers. That's the holiday spirit. Here we go, 560 WIND, Chicago, Illinois. Now let's show you the uh, display. 50% off the new system and a free camera. It's simplysafe.com slash holiday. Current time, 11.03 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm near Chicago, Illinois. Forgot to mention that. But uh, that's nice. You can always have your clock handy. And you can set this clock to UTC. It would be nice if it had dual time, but it doesn't. And then, of course, we're going to leave on the signal to noise ratio. Um, uh, I think, yeah, the gain. You can see that usually the second number is most important. Uh, this is your gain. T typically, for a strong signal, this, this will be a high number. But sometimes you can have a high number, but not much coming in. So uh, the second number is very important. And usually, the, you know, being that high, 25 is good. But you'll see, you'll get reception even when this is like 02 or, or 05, you know, really low, that second number. Okay, WIND Chicago, let's keep going. This is 580 W... Uh, ILL, Urbana, Illinois, 150 miles away. Uh, just to give you an idea, we're about four and a half hours from sun, uh, sunrise, and we're about five and a half hours to sunset. Here's our bandwidth. Kristen, welcome back to the 21st. Hi, thanks for having me. I'd also like to welcome two guests 
who have been working to expand testing in their region. Jessica Brinkworth is a bioanthropologist and assistant professor. So as you can see, quite a few options there. My favorites is 1.8 and uh three and, uh, yeah three and 1.8 is my favorite health equity action project which has been organizing free voluntary pop-up now we can bring in a loop i have a turkey advantage and the most are really cruising the band here just to see how much game we can get with the loop there you go so those numbers really jump now you notice this, this first number jumps quite a bit but yeah, even the second number did also. You can join the conversation by giving us a call at 800-222-9455. Excellent. Okay, next station. Here's a 590 WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's about 140 miles away. We're going to loop back in. Here's the WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles. There you go. Got the call letters. Now, of course, uh, those who are not familiar with medium wave or AM band, there's an internal antenna. That's why the ex this is why this antenna is only for FM, shortwave, and uh, air band. You don't need to extend that for it, medium wave. A lot of people don't know that. There's an internal ferrite bar with a coil of wire wrapped around it for your antenna inside the radio. Now when I turn the radio to the station, the station is this way, this number should get large, uh, bigger. There you go. See that difference? It's magic. I lived in in San Francisco. 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah. And north and south. Here's some music on WMFN, Pietone, Illinois. Teams are all going to take a 10% hit. Most teams are going to be up against the cap and trying to drive your value as best you can. So uh, I, I don't think that liking the fact that you are wanted... 670 WSCR, Chicago, the score, home of the Cubs. No, I'm not saying he doesn't, I don't, you know, but, but I, I just, I, I don't read that the same way. So you mentioned that... That's interesting. This is a 700 WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio. It's about 300 miles. Just picking it up. Let's see if we can get it with a loop. That's amazing. Very cool to get that. This is a hot little radio. Loving it. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get that bandwidth back up so we can hear stuff. So then this is how, a one-way thing. How are the recipients chosen? Where do you get the names of the people with these bills then? Well, we just buy it from... WGN Chicago 720. As you can see, probably my strongest station on the AM band. One of them. That portfolio. So if a, if a Chicago... Just checking to see if Toronto's there. No, too, too, early. too midday. Uh, 750 WNDZ, Portage, Indiana. Okay, 760, we're picking up uh, WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Nice. 
Very nice. Okay, let's keep going. Wow. If we're not included, we don't feel like it's been inclusive. And if it has not been... WBBM, Chicago? Then how can we feel like it's going to help us? Pharrell would like to see more of an effort by vaccine makers to include minorities. But already... The Trump is Here's WCPT, the fact Willow Springs, Illinois. The oligarchs are preparing 2022 Challenger... That's the clearest I've heard this station, too. Uh, 860 uh, WNOV. Uh, this is Milwaukee. And uh, this is 52 miles away at 500 watts. Unless they increase their power, it sounds really good. Okay, we're picking this up. This is nice. This one's usually hard to get. Okay, that was 870. Um, that's WKAR. I don't know if I said that right. Yeah, KAR. This is East Lansing, Michigan. Um, this is 195 miles away. Playing with his dog, Mr. Biden jumped up in the air to catch a stick in his mouth. And, uh, accident Here's eight, uh, 890 WLS, Chicago. High pitch whining coming from the camera, so I tuned it one back. To the 25th Amendment eliminate a little bit of it. Inauguration speech. I'm not pretending this. Because it's got available ace track all wheel drive. The Big Badger 920 to be okay. Why? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Nine thirty, irrelevant radio, WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois. Um, you know, if, I'm gonna go a little quicker. Music on WFAW for Atkinson, Wisconsin, at nine forty. Another relevant radio station, WNTD, Chicago, Illinois. I, I keep going back to. It's interesting when I think about. Really cool. Well, let's take a couple of calls, Tom, in Madison. I'll give you a chance. There's WHA, Madison, Wisconsin, 970. Um, good morning. Um, I just wanted... Uh, that we have on our hands. I'll play, uh, I'll play you that... Um, that uh, dun- this is ESPN, uh, WMVP, Chicago. We'll take more of your calls, 312-332-3776. And there's... <laughs> Music on WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. And I mean gorgeous. Luxury vinyl in stock. Again, like the carpet, ready to go right WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Buck 99 a square foot enough. In other words, great cash and carry. Just picking up a faint signal here. This is WHFB, Benton Harbor, Michigan. About 100 miles. WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin, ESPN on summer weekends. Awesome. Ask your doctor about eyebrows. Music on WNWI, Oak Lawn, Illinois. WMBI, Chicago, Illinois. Before I went to bed last night, I had to go to the New Zealand Herald. The New Zealand Herald is... Here's WISN, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Which is about as far from the United States as you can go and still be on this planet. Because there's no discussion of it. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, you look at Ben Rhodes' tweet lately, and he's now... Here's WYLL, Hope for Your Life. Christian Radio, out of Chicago, Illinois. 
and for trying to have peace. Temperature reading. Music on 1170. Um, that's a, maybe a nighttime. Uh, wow, that's pretty cool. I'm picking this up. This might be. Yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> if I find it, I'll post it here. Okay, so it sounds like adult contemporary music. Eleven eighty. The squirrel. The BSQR. Sycamore, Illinois. Usually has music playing, but we have commercials. No. <laughs> I don't know if solar index affects medium wave as much, but our solar index today is 116, 116. Yeah, it's, it's really high. So some people say it affects uh, daytime medium wave, medium wave reception. Maybe we're getting better stations because of that. Uh, it'll be RTO, Chicago, Illinois. Twelve hundred W R T O Chicago Illinois. Hello, I just said that before. <laughs> I always do that. Twelve twenty because they're both Hispanic stations. Twelve twenty W K R S Waukegan Illinois. <laughs> yeah, Waukegan. W C L O Janesville Wisconsin. Well, one of the reasons I, I really enjoyed working. WSBC Chicago. I'll put the station information here. I think it's Milwaukee. I think it's a country station. Yeah, WEKZ, Monroe, Wisconsin, 60 miles away. Yeah, I get a lot of stations here during the day. Wow. Okay. Keep going. Twelve eighty WBIG Aurora Illinois. Kind of weak. Okay, we got music on twelve ninety WZTI Fonz FM. I think they call it <laughs> Greenfield, Wisconsin. I know some Wisconsinites will correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong. Thirteen hundred WRDZ Lagrange, Illinois. Twenty four seven. A full year of WIBA on thirteen ten Madison, Wisconsin. Radio show transcripts and ditto cam video live or on demand. Visit one eight hundred runaway dot org. Tired of working that same old dead job. this is WNTA, Rockford, Illinois. WJYI, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Usually I can't resolve that, but I have today. He wore the iconic black armor cape and face obscuring helmet in the original Star Wars films. British born Prowse was a championship weightlifter when he got. 1360 WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. Role in 1978 Superman. KWBEL South Beloit, Illinois. Got some music going. It's a good sound on radio. A WGRB, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, 
WRGN, Racine, Wisconsin. No wind in the wind. 41. Next call up. And of course, like I said, in, you know, we're, we're dealing with uh, the pandemic and hopefully people, everybody is... WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. The time. You know, the, the Usually at the shopping thing going on. Started, <laughs> Love it. In March, when we started this, was to give you guys something to look forward to. I'm not picking that up too well. Oh, it's a no-brainer. Don't spend a minute of this holiday season. At the so 1440 WROK, Rockford, Illinois. That's west of me, and that's north. So if you notice why I'm turning it, I'm aiming it at the station, the horizontal edge of the antenna. Southeast Chicago. This is uh, it's WCEV Cicero, Illinois, which is right there by Chicago. Uh, WGEZ, this is Iron Country in 1490, Beloit, Wisconsin. Got a heavy metal rock station on WPJX, Zion, Illinois, on 1500. Doesn't sound like it today, but <laughs> usually is. Got music on WLUV, Loves Park, Illinois. So a lot of music stations. Amazing. WCKG, Elmer, Illinois. Related issue, right? I mean, I think it would be kind of a, 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 <laughs> WGLB, Port Washington, Wisconsin. Music at 1570. Was that Christmas music? Uh, yeah, I'll put a post here. I don't know why I don't have it written down. Some of these are like borderline stations. Uh, I'm getting them. It's awesome. Watertown, Wisconsin, uh, WTTN. Uh, yeah, I really like looking at these numbers. It helps when you move the radio. And you start seeing them go away, go lower, and then you start moving in the direction of the station. They start to get higher. It lets you know you're kind of on track to the position. WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Uh, traffic advisory radio on 1620, Lake County, Illinois. Uh, WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin. Distorting a little bit on 1640, just tuned it back one, one kilohertz. Sometimes it helps. You have a role to play. Your unique qualities may be just that the right better. way that will lead. Um, Matthew also said... WOZN, uh, The Zone, Madison, Wisconsin. And then one station left and we'll be done. And uh, the fact... Uh, these marijuana convictions off of your, your record... Here's WBON, Chicago, Illinois. All right, so I'll turn this off. Do final thoughts? Yeah, the XH data, amazing during the day. It just might be an exceptional day today. Um, pretty amazing. 
you know, the big thing, the big takeaway is it, it's a pretty affordable radio. You should be able to get this under 100. I'll have links below. Check them out. Uh, usually it's on eBay. And uh, just look for uh, inexpensive, like, say, 80 bucks. You shouldn't spend more than 80 $85 on this. Um, it's definitely worth it, um, even with the new Texan radios coming out. Uh, this is a great radio. Lightweight, compact, um, does everything you want it to. I actually don't mind these flush buttons. I um, actually get used to them. Uh, some people do like the idea of the raise buttons on the Digitech, um, just to give you an idea there. Uh, overall, I mean, this XH data mm -hmm. does look like a more premium radio uh, with its metal speaker grill. looks pretty sharp, and it's lithium-powered. Some people like that, too. So, yeah, if you want to support the channel, just check out those links below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big like. You guys are the best. Um, if you're into shortwave radios and you like single sideband, you like to see these receivers, um, I will get the new radios and I'll review them. So, yeah, make sure to subscribe at the bell icon if you want to see more reviews and band scans. I will do them for you. And, of course, three, comment below what you think about the XH Data D808 on the daytime medium wave band. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.